Need to be on cellular. On? Let's try this again. Reconnecting all over the place. Heaven forbid I do why. Time throughout the week. Being able to keep my house under control without a whole lot of effort and I get to work with my energy. And as you all have heard before, I do best when I'm working with my energy. I am not one of those super disciplined people. So this is my favorite way to keep things all together. Now, I want to say first off, when I organize, for myself especially, I am a realistic organizer. I don't like perfect. I don't want to live in a home that's absolutely perfect. And that's not my goal in my home. I am very organized, but I like things to be livable and I want my stepdaughter and my husband to feel comfortable in the home and not like they have to worry about things being precise. So when I do my watering tidy, I'm again not looking for perfect. And you'll see a bunch of areas in my house that aren't perfect and that's kind of my goal. Now when I work for clients, I go with what they want for organizing. So of course, if they're working with Spark Organizing and they want the perfect bins with the labels, then we definitely do the perfect bins with the labels. Uh, but this is just my own home. And there's a number of clients out there who are completely overwhelmed and they just want something livable. They don't want perfect either. And those are the clients that I work with the most. So you're about to see my home, but also let's talk about setting up for a wandering tidy. It's super easy. I just have one of these super cheap aprons. Mine's from, I think, Home Depot that I bought. And I put this on real quick. You can get whatever type of apron you want or just stick things in your pockets, whatever works for you. But the two tools I grab ahead of time, I grab some wipes and I grab a Swiffer. I just throw those in the pockets because you never know when you're gonna have something to dust or wipe really quick. And then I'm ready to go. So the goal of the Wandering Tidy is simply to pick things up around the house and get everything in the right place in the right room. I usually do this first thing in the morning. This is a little late in the day for me because my energy is really high in the morning. My husband's a night owl, so he's better at doing this type of thing at the end of the night. Find what works for you. Like whenever you're the most energized, that's when you wanna do the Wandering Tidy. Let's begin. The first thing I do is I stand in whatever room I'm in and I look around and I see what is out of place that needs to be put away. Right now I see in my kitchen, the common drop spot, there's a bunch of stuff in here. So in the kitchen I have a number of things that I know need to be put away. Now this is for this afternoon, so I don't have to worry about this, but I've already got a handful. So I'm just gonna walk and put these things away. I don't care about the rest of the kitchen yet. Now as I'm walking, I can quickly do things like pick up the dog toys. This is a never ending throughout the day thing. If you've got dogs, you understand this one. Constantly picking up dog toys and the fluff from inside the dog toys that they ripped out all the time. Follow me. So the goal now is simply to put things away. I know that this simply goes in my cleaning closet. So I'll tuck this into the drawer right there. My twine that I used earlier just gets wound up and in the side of my cleaning closet, if you want to come around and you can actually see, again, not perfect, but I have all of my maintenance items right here. So my twine is in this pocket. These are those over the door shoe organizers with clear pockets. And I just put them on the wall with nails and hooks. So these are just those simple picture hanging hooks. Those are put away. Now to tuck this away. All right, that's back in my bathroom. Now, I'm standing in the next room. Throw that away. In the next room, I simply look around and see what's out of place here and what needs to be put away. My socks from last night, because I got get into bed and I take off my socks last when it's cold, because I hate cold feet. So I just toss them over here and throw them in the laundry in the morning. And then I also see these are out because I had this amazing cough for the past week. It was lovely. I'm finally done with it, so these can be put away now. So I'll just go into my closet, toss my dirty laundry away in the laundry bin. And thankfully, this month on 365, we're doing the master bedroom and closet. I'm going to be doing my closet with you because it's gotten out of control, as you can see. So this is my shame right now. <laughs> you can totally see. Because in Florida, we don't get just one wardrobe during the winter. We have to have both because it'll be 80 degrees one day 
and it will be 60, 50, 40 degrees the next day. So I have to have both the winter and summer wardrobes combined, which is why in February it's the perfect time to do the master closet because I can see what the worst is and I can pare it down from there. So this month I'm doing it with you. I'm totally gonna be cleaning out my closet and my bedroom with the daily actions just like you are. And I'll be posting it as I do it, so you can follow me if it's my pain. Let's put these away real quick. <clears throat> got my first aid bins right here. I know that I've got my cough. It goes right here. And I've got excess right now because we just went through cold season. So we all got hit. And then I'll go right back here because I saw there were some other things. Got my journal that goes in the other room, a couple things for home improvement and recycling. So this is all you do with the wandering tidy. You just walk into a room, you see what needs to be put away and you put it away. And then when you get to that room, you see what needs to be put away in that room. I just keep going like this. I love the high energiness of it. Usually I either have a podcast on or I will put on some fun music and I kind of feel like you know where they speed up those videos and you're going madly with this crazy music on? I kind of feel like that. And it makes me happy. So I'll put my journal back. It's one of the journals that I need to pull out some of the ideas and make it into a photo book. Put my recycling away. Take my recycling out after this because obviously it's full. And then back in the kitchen. So I can look around and again, what's out of place? At the moment, there's nothing out of place in the kitchen that goes in another room. So this room's done. When you hit a done room, that's great. You just walk to the next room and look around. So right here, I see my Kleenex box. goes back into its spot. And as you'll see, I also have some things staged. So I'm not doing the big projects right now. Like in the corner over there, it looks awful. That's where all of the stuff that has to go in the shed is living. So this afternoon or tomorrow, I'll be able to run all of it out of the shed, but I've been able to gather it into one place. So it's not living all around the house. I won't forget to put anything away and I can make one quick run of it. And I have to do it by the end of the day tomorrow because my stepdaughter will want her drawing table back. <laughs> so it's a good hard deadline right there. Normally I don't have a table full of all of my accounting in the middle of the living room. Right now it's tax season. So I'm doing my taxes in the end of the year bookkeeping and all that fun stuff. Normally my dining room table is in the dining room. And as you can see, the chairs have been pushed to the side and it's all just sort of disheveled. And this I'm leaving disheveled on purpose because I wanna be able to see the TV so I can watch my addiction, my latest addiction, Big Bang Theory, while I do my bookkeeping. So I've got my TV, it's kind of wonky. But I also know, so this room is mostly done. Again, today I'm not going for perfect, but since I have my duster right here on me, I can just do a quick dusting and dust some of that. A lot of the times another thing I'll do, I won't do it right now because it gets really loud, but I'll do my shredding. So I'll just grab a little bit of shredding and shred until the bag is full because with bookkeeping right now, it's very excessive. Normally there's not that much and I could shred it right when it comes in, but when I'm doing that much with finance that I can purge, there's a big shred, shred pile. So that's another thing I'll do today. But that is the wandering tidy. So you've got your wipes if something is kind of gross. You've got your duster if you see something that needs dusted. And other than that, just wander from room to room, putting things away until all the rooms are pretty settled or until you run out of time. It's okay to set a timer for like 15 minutes and finish it when you're done. Like when the timer goes off, be okay with that. You can always do another 15 minutes later or tomorrow morning. Like I said, I do this every morning and this is usually what I do while my coffee's brewing. I just do a quick wander around while I've got the energy, get things a little bit settled and I feel good starting up the day. If you wanna join me for the 365 project that I mentioned, this month I'm super excited. As I mentioned, it's the closet and the master bedroom. Even if you're organized, I have some people in the program who are going through it with me because they just want to feel like they're even more in control. So join me, my365project.com, and I'll see you there.
Have a good week. I love you so much, and I will see you next week, 11 a.m., right here.